Hello, my name is Pastor David Pranga. I'm one of the pastors here at Brewster Baptist Church, and I have the opportunity to share with you the verse of the day. And this week's verses all deal with the aspect of prayer. Yesterday we learned that the God of the universe, who created all great things, all the cool things in the world, he has a deep desire to be with us and to communicate with us. And we can do that through prayer. See, prayer is simply our communication with God. See, as a pastor, sometimes people will come up to me and they will say, how do you pray to God? What does it look like to you? Is there a tool that you use? And I just want to say, there's no one right way to pray or speak to God. We can pray to God however we want. The temptation is, is that we often give God a laundry list of our needs and our wants and our desires. And the focus is all about us and not of God. And it really should be of God. See, I was taught a tool that helped me to pray in my prayer life. And that tool was called Acts. Each letter represented a different focus. And that way our heart can focus on God and not so much on ourselves. And today we begin with letter A, which stands for adoration. And today's verse focused on God and who he is. See, when we start our prayers to God, our focus should be on God and not on ourselves. See, adoration is often defined as praising God for who he is. We can look at his character, his name, or even his role. Well, the verse of the day is Psalms 93, verses 3 through 5. I just want to read it to you. It says, For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. And the mountain peaks belong to him. The seas is his, for he made it, and his hands form the dry land. See, when I read these scripture, my focus begins to change. My heart begins to change. Instead of me thinking about my needs, I say thinking about the God of the universe. See, adoration helps me to put God in the right perspective. That God is bigger than me and my needs, and adoration reminds me that I need to be about praising God. The scripture reminds me of how big and how great God is. God is the king over everything. His hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The seas are his. Every fish, every sea creature, he made it. And God has created, and he cares for every animal, and every bird, and every fish. For me, these verses remind me how big God is, it also reminds me of how much love he has for everything he has created, and that includes me and includes you. See, when I pray to God, it starts with adoration, and I will focus on his character or the characteristics of God, and sometimes I will start with just praising God for who he is and what he's done in my life. So I would invite you today to take a few minutes and to praise God and remember how great he is. So today's word is adoration, the letter A. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we take the second element, which includes the letter C. God bless and have a great day.